Hello and welcome back. Uh, my name is Greg and um, in this video we're going to continue with our configuration of GNS3 version 1.3.x. Uh, this particular version of GNS3 is 1.3.4 but because so far all the 1.3.x uh, installations are very similar without any changes. Um, I thought I would uh, make this uh, generic for all the 1.3 uh, platform. So um, in this video we're gonna load up virtual boxes uh, devices uh, such as PCs and and servers and um, I'll basically show you how um, um, to wire it uh, to a switch and a router um, so that you can um, do serving um, <laughs> of various services uh, from a server uh, to VirtualBox PCs. So uh, we'll go and hit new. Uh, this brings up the VirtualBox uh, machine, a uh, virtual machine uh, uh, template, and from here it lets you select the available virtual box machines. Um, I'll go ahead and add this uh, PC1 uh, WinXP uh, machine. Uh, I have ran Windows 7 on it, but uh, I haven't tried 8, but it seems like the newer the windows the uh the bigger the vm <laughs> so <laughs> win xp works fine for uh for most purposes and uses the least amount of uh cpu utilization so i'll go ahead and load that up and i i do have more than one uh, uh pc i i just cloned them so basically you can just add them um add them all in alright now we'll load our server now I do have a server that's in here it's a uh, Win2003 uh, server I also have a uh, Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux, uh, but um, uh, I also got Win 10. <laughs> um, but this is the server that I I, I uh, recently created, which is a Win Windows Server 2003 uh, Radius server, um, which uh, is pretty cool because it, it's a domain controller and has. Uh, uh, DHCP and uh, other services uh, um, loaded in it so and um, I won't show you how basically uh, to uh, I'll probably do another video later on to show how the radius works I'm still kind of working through the bugs on that uh, but but for this purpose um, I'll just show you how we can create um, a topology with our IOU devices um, actually I'll take that back let's go ahead and get rid of this IOU let's use our 2600 router uh, just to show that we can connect it uh, now that we changed our local server to 192.168.56.1 so uh, basically this point <clears throat> um, we can connect oops there we go connect into that router connect this to the switch and connect this to this router and if you didn't, like I said, if you didn't change your, um, if you didn't change your local address, 
uh, you may get an error just by connecting this to this IOU device. Um, like I said, it has to be changed in order to do that. Um, but we'll go ahead and start this up. And I'll show you pretty much how VirtualBox works. Oh, one thing, and this is a good thing. Uh, you have to go into um, VirtualBox and set your NIC. Uh, one other thing I, f I failed to mention, uh, and this is this works the same on all NICs, uh, depending on it doesn't matter which platform you're using. Uh, if you go into settings after you've installed a, a server or a PC. Uh, for you have to set your network adapter to not attached. If you don't set it to not attached, it will not uh, co communicate through GNS3. So um, we'll go ahead and start just that one. And as you'll see down here, it'll pop up here in a second. There it is. So we got our server coming up. And here's our Windows uh, XP. There's our server. So basically, as you can see, that's how you, uh, you can bring servers and uh, PC devices into GNS3 um, and uh, con connect them all up. Um, basically at this point you would just go into your router, set up your uh, your LAN uh, connections um, and uh, so that and set your uh, IPs on your server and your and your uh, PC and everything should work just like in a real networked environment. So uh, hopefully that helps and uh, hopefully everything works and if uh, you like this video please comment below. Uh, like I said in the future I will show how this uh, radius uh, works and how it gets tied in and how it gets uh, or how it uh, authenticates uh, through uh, Active Directory um, to be able to uh, telnet or uh, console into your um, network devices. So take care. We'll see you later. Bye.